Okay guys, so check this out. The senseless shooting death of Nipsey Hussle has undoubtedly torn a rift within the hip-hop community. On Sunday, March 31st, reports broke in the late afternoon the Crenshaw native had been shot six times outside of his Marathon clothing store in Hyde Park. As a result, numerous tributes from high-caliber artists like The Game, Diddy, Kendrick Lamar, and countless others have poured in. Nick Cannon took his tribute a step further with his promise to continue the work that Nip had started. And the Lord said, job well done, my son, at Nipsey Hussle, Cannon began the caption. King, this is how I want to remember you. Laughing, smiling, I ain't slept yet thinking about our conversations. Real ones from a real one. And I'm going to say this only for the real ones to recognize. Where you left off, we're going to carry one. It's a marathon, so I'm picking up the baton because they can't kill us all, Cannon continued. According to the Los Angeles Times, the Los Angeles Police Department shared details of the shooting suspect that Police Lieutenant Chris Ramirez described only as a black male. Though multiple reports alleged the shooting may have been gang-related, a slew of conspiracy theories surrounding the death of the Victory Lap rapper have since uprooted following the shooting. Many have spoken since the rapper's death to voice their suspicions he was killed because of his work to highlight Dr. Sebi's medical accomplishments. Brother Polite, a widely known author and activist within the hip-hop community, shared his thoughts to Instagram as well on Sunday. The sacrifice it takes, the fear you have to have, the real gangsta in you to tell people about Dr. Sebi, you know you risk your life when you tell people about Dr. Sebi, man. That's the man that cured me of my diabetes. You're risking your life when you tell people about Dr. Sebi. So what I see Nipsey Hussle do, what I see them personally do, was nothing shy of a miracle for him to have the platform that he got and the willingness to tell the world about Dr. Sebi, a man that cured me of diabetes. It's like I lost Tupac all over again. That anybody who's a real gangster, a real gangster tells the truth because a real gangster know the real gangsters will be out there to kill you for telling the truth. And it'd be some of the same people that be telling you you shouldn't leave the hood that want you in there so you can get killed in the hood. And the first thing they're going to do is leverage this gangbanger disposition to make it look like his own people. Cannon obviously agrees and believes something is not right. He posted several videos of Sebi to his Instagram page on Monday, April 1st, with one of the video captions reading, Can't kill us all. Hashtag fearless. Hashtag marathon. Hashtag spiritual warfare. Sebi, who died in 2016 at age 82, claimed to have cured multiple patients of diseases such as AIDS, herpes, and diabetes from strictly herbal-based remedies. So what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.